Hey everyone, welcome to ARTV. This is where you'll find album reviews, top 10 countdowns, and music discussion. Thanks for being here. Today I'm going to be talking about the debut full length from the UK alternative indie pop rock outfit, Coast. I don't like how that rolls off the tongue. Coast. I can never get a take that I actually like. It's just such an awkward word when you've got that S that doesn't line up right. Before we get into today's review, I wanted to remind you that we did a live stream recently. If you haven't seen it yet, it's uploaded on this channel. I know it's four and a half hours long, but I'll link it down below. Definitely some hilarious moments in there. Uh, we got drunk, answered some questions, did some other fun stuff. Uh, you don't want to miss it. Infinity on Hannah and Viral Rack were there. So it's linked in the description down below if you'd like to see that. I always get excited when I hear about a new band from the UK because I'm thinking, okay, is this my next Churches, Royal Blood, Wolf Alice, some bands that have put out like a phenomenal records that have been some of my favorites from the past few years. So naturally, when I heard about Coast, I was like, yeah, I'm definitely going to give them a chance. Check it out, see what it's all about. When I went to listen to this album, I realized I'd actually already heard one of this band's songs, and it's called A Rush of Blood. I heard it about a year ago on Alt Nation, and it wasn't memorable then, it's not memorable now. I'm gonna tell you exactly why I have so many problems with this outfit. They follow a very, very strict formula, and every so often, a band comes along that plays it so safe sticks to the same pattern and just refuses to go out of the safety zone that it just bores me to tears. Every single one of these songs builds up like it's building up to this big arena-ready rock song or this big anthem that's trying really hard to be inspirational. Maybe it's good running music, but it's not entertaining music. There's no depth to it, and that's a huge, huge problem that I'm seeing. There's definitely some standout moments, but for the most part, I'm seeing a band that's copying and pasting, trying to take the feelings of one song and force them into another. There's moments like I like, like Modern Love, easily my favorite song on this. Genuinely catchy song. Have to give them props. The chorus just soars on this track and it works. But the problem is they try to take that same feeling and capitalize on it over and over again. I see them lifting that styled chorus and maybe applying it to a track like Wolves, which just basically flatlines for me each time I hear it. Tracks like that, or even the last song on the Standard Edition, which I'm reviewing today, Tonight, I see that track, and I, whenever the album starts over again, because I would leave it on a loop, it would fade back into Oceans, and I'm just like, these songs have the exact same vibe. Are people really falling for this? It just almost feels disingenuous to me because this band doesn't even try to cover up the fact that these songs are so similar. The themes on here are just recurring themes of like of adventure, love, and trying to find something new in life. And the first time that I ever heard the track A Rush of Blood, I think that capitalized and showed me a lot of the problems that I would have with this band in the future. It's like they really want to have this big anthem that's just ready for arenas. They have these massive hooks. They're just ready to fly out there. But there's no substance to back up these claims and what they're throwing out there. And that makes for a terrible listen as an album. Sitting through 36 minutes of this record just feels like doing the same thing over and over again. It's like whenever you sit there and you're just doing a mundane office task or something like that. Or you remember back in like elementary school when the teacher would tell you to sharpen all of the pencils and a 12 pack and you just sit there and you go mm, all right that one's done mm, and you get so bored by the end of it that you just want to blow your brains out yes i'm exaggerating a little bit i mean moments like stay aren't that bad i enjoy that moment along with the track that i already mentioned modern love but other than that there's just really not that much that i'm gravitating towards i don't know what you guys are thinking about this debut record from the uk band coast but for me personally can't give it anything more than a two out of five. I wanted to keep it short for this review because there wasn't a ton to say, so let me know your thoughts on the album in the comment section down below. You can check out a song from the record if you want to, if you're curious about it, along with all of my social media links that you saw roll out over here. That's all linked in the description. Thanks so much for watching, hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel because friends don't let friends go unsubscribed. Other than that, I'll see you guys very soon right here on ARTV.